Okay. So I'm here in Tajil, in what is central Russia. Now I've heard that there's a brewer here somewhere who's also busy brewing a gold medal beer. And I came all the way out here to try and find him. You can hear my voice. Russian winter's even got it into my voice. But uh, yeah, come along with me and we'll find this guy together. All around the world, with a continued rise in craft beer, there are so many wonderful breweries that deserve at the very least a visit. Consider this series your guide to globetrotting the best of the world's craft beer scene. Nizhny Tajil, where Crazy Brew is located, is a town that was once an intrinsic part of the Soviet war machine, responsible for producing steel as well as for making the T-34 series of tanks. All that has receded in recent years and now the town plays host to one of the most innovative craft breweries in Russia. Hi there guys, my name is Guilherme, I'm from Brazil. Uh, we work here at Crazy Brew, it's a beautiful brewery we have here. A little bit about myself, I graduated on VLB. Berlin as a certified brewmaster and then I studied in England in London Institute of Brewing and Distilling where I got my diploma in brewery and just recently I just finished my master's degrees in brewing science from the Nottingham University also from the UK uh, so come come with me let me show you a little bit of the work we do here So, welcome to my brew house. Today we are brewing our very famous Russian Imperial Stout, a delicious Imperial Stout with 11% alcohol. Later we are going to try it and we'll talk more about that. Yeah, so for this Imperial Stout, we are looking for a very full-bodied with little roasted notes and then to achieve that we use some very special malts from Castel Mochi and then we get these amazing flavors and tastes using the coffee malt and loads of the chocolate malt and it gives a very smooth finish to the beer with nice coffee notes, it's very good. So after hearing so much about the stout and reading up on it, I can't wait to taste it. Now we're going to head down to the cafe that they also own and see what it's all about. So yeah, we are here at Crazy Brew, here with my buddy Guillermo, and this guy has actually got an Imperial Stout that took a gold award. Tell me more about that. Well, it not only got a gold award, it got a gold award two years in a row. And last two year, years in a row. Two years in a row. And last year we were awarded the best stout and porter in the International Beer Challenge in London. Wow, man. So this guy knows what he's doing when it comes to stout. Yeah. So tell me, what were you thinking about like uh, when you when you brewed this? Well, first of all, I wanted a strong beer. I love dark beers. So I wanted to be strong and I want to be the strongest beer in Russia. So that's why <laughs> we set the alcohol content to 11%. So we start from there. And of course we want it to be very drinkable, not just pure alcohol, so it had to be very well balanced. So in order to achieve that, we used loads of cafe malt and chocolate malt from Castle Malty. That gives... You gotta have Castle Malt, man, yeah. You have to have it. <laughs> another way to... So then it gives loads of coffee, nutty notes, and especially the chocolate malt gives deeper color and doesn't have that adjustment, which is not very good when you use very darker mouths. So it's a perfect for our style. That's how. Fantastic, man. We, we, we like hearing that kind of thing at Castle Malty. Cool, man. So, but proofs of the pudding, man. I've got to get my lips around one of these. So, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Pour one. That delicious head. Look at that foam. 
Yeah, it has a beautiful foam thanks to the castle melting. Because otherwise, if you use any other melt, the foam just collapses because of the alcohol content. So you have That's to have this creamy foam. So this is was the yeah. the second most important thing that we were looking for. Yeah, I remember. I mean, this is just standard CO2. This is not uh, nitro. No. Look at that. I'll show you guys a close up of this in a minute. But um, yeah, man. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Hope you enjoy it. You know, the alcohol isn't apparent at all. The only way where you actually know that there is al that the alcohol is high is a slight warming for the chest, which is absolutely perfect. You have, uh, there's no astringency, like you were saying from, from the roasted malts. It is, uh, the sweetness and bitterness is perfectly balanced. And I can, I can totally see why this one. Thank you, we could not have done without your guys. Thank you. Thanks, man. Thank you. Cheers, and we'll see you next week on Brewery Spotlight. Bye. Cheers. Bye.